Okay, so today we're going to be validating an image. So first of all, we're going to create an input type. I'm going to set the type as file. Now, notice that if you set a property as multiple, you'll be able to select multiple files. But if you don't put this in there, you're looking to select one file. So we just need one file for the moment. So we're going to say unchange. That means if the user changes something and selects a file, we're going to say event. We're going to call the function in here. We're going to pass it through a uh, function. Validate image. I'm going to pass it to it. Event dot target. That's how I split target. Sorry. Event dot target dot file. And this um, input tag file it returns an array of files. Now, even if you're selecting just one file, it's still going to return it as an array. So you need to pick the first file in it, and this should be files, uh, which is zero. So now we're going to go ahead and create our validate image function. So we can start validate image. Get the image from here. And pass it through this. Now we're just going to say console.log image so we can see exactly what this returns. It's giving me an error. Why is it giving me an error? Okay, I didn't close this. Okay, so now we're going to refresh our page. We're going to choose a file. We're going to pick this. We're going to inspect. We're going to go to our console. And we're going to click here. And we can see we get the name of the of the file, we get the size, we get the type. Very, very simple. So now what we're going to do is we're going to exit this because you see it's working, obviously. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check up the type. We'll say check type. Okay. So how do you check this? We're going to say if uh if this image dot name dot match. Now we need to pass it through a series of checks. So we're going to say if it doesn't match with any file type as this, this part here is for the first part of the name because we saw in the name, it's come as name, then it come as dot something. So after the dot, we want to check what type of file this is. So if it's not part of this JPG, JPEG, PNG, GIF, then we don't want that. It should return an error. So we're going to say constant error equals to run file type okay so we're also going to get a, a new use state an error use state i'm going to say constant error set error and say equals to use states i'm going to set it as null so over here now so when we get the constant error we're going to say set error as this area and we're going to see if we turn end the function. So we're going to come back here. I'm going to display this error. So if there's an error, display this error. Let's see. Sorry, not errors, just error. So if it goes through this check and the image passes this check, we want it to set the error as no. Okay, let's try it. Now, JPEG. As you can see there's no error because this is good. Uh, if we pick any other document that's not a JPEG, like this, it says wrong file type. So now we can see the file type is okay. It's showing me battery is low here. Never mind that. So you can see if it's dot anything but what we specified here to show wrong file type. So now let's check for the size of the image. And let's say check image size so we're going to say if the image the size is greater than now um the way this works is if it's 50 is it 50 kilobytes no 500 kilobytes it's 500 like this 550 500,000 like this this is 500 kilobytes if it's just 50 kilobytes then 
is just wait, five thousand. Okay, if it's just fifty kilobytes, then it's like this, but without this on this, this comma. If it's five MB, then it goes like this. It's five MB. So we want to check the size of the image. We don't want it to be beyond five MB because it will be too high. We're going to leave it like this. So if the image size is greater than five MB, we are now going to write an error. We're going to say constant error equals to file too large. And we're going to tell the person upload file less than less than five MB. So the user knows obviously. So we're now going to say set the error to null. And we're going to say term. We also want to immediately we start, we want to want to set the error to null so I can pick the right thing. So um this is okay. So let's check that out. I'm going to pick a file now in my images, my wallpapers. This file is greater than 5 MB, so it should show up an error. So let's click this. It's not showing up an error. So that means that so that means that my image size um oh okay. This is where the mistake is. Okay, so it should work now. So let's refresh. Let's click. This image is beyond 5 MB. So we'll open it. And it says file to large upload file less than 5 MB. So that's how we can validate our images. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. And watch out for more videos like this. Thank you.